What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video. Today we have a new update for Windows 11. As usual, they call it cumulative updates. It does have a new feature in it. It's kind of new. Um, they have a few things. They have an updated visual refresh of the library UI in the Microsoft Store. And they also have some bug fixes and then some additions to the widgets panel that I still haven't used yet. Um, basically being that if you connect your Azure Active Directory account to your computer, uh, you actually get a Microsoft 365 widget. I do not have that because I do not have Azure Active Directory, so therefore I cannot do it. But what you would do if you had Azure Active Directory connected to your computer or connected uh, to your account on your PC that you're using with the Windows 11, uh, obviously, uh, dev channel on there, uh, you would go to add widgets and then you would see it listed here as well and then there's some bug fixes with family safety which we'll get to in a second but other than that that is like the bulk of the things let's go to the article though on what they published as usual this is uh the insider preview build 22,000.168 and so we're going in again they tell you that they're releasing that to everybody in the dev and the beta channels because still right now what they're doing is they're still pushing out uh, these essentially cumulative updates to both channels because soon, like they say right here, uh, they're going to be pushing out the more buggy builds that have will have features that may not ever come to Windows 11 in the near future to only the dev channel. And so they're telling people still to, if you just don't want as many buggy builds, in the near future, uh, now is the time probably to switch over to the beta channel because things are going to get a little spicy soon. Uh, so going further in, it says they announced that they added a more languages to chat from with Microsoft Teams. That little the little icon right here. Uh, they added some more languages. Localization is a whole lot of them. I'm surprised even Italian was not part of it in the first place. But they added a whole bunch of languages to it, which is pretty dope. Uh, they also said that 365 widget, and this is how it'll look like. It'll allow you access your uh, recent documents and some things like that. I personally still, I mean, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to, this is coming to normal people like me and everybody else watching this. I'm pretty sure this is coming because that would be pretty dope to have another place that you can just access your documents real quick. You can see if someone sent you something on OneDrive or anything like that. That'd be pretty cool. But I can kind of understand where they're coming from with putting it with uh, pretty much businesses first because they're the ones that will constantly be transferring files internally between each other uh, all the time. Whereas your mom, your dad, your sibling, your girlfriend, wife, whatever, they're not gonna be sending you all this stuff in the same service. You're not gonna probably be using the same service with your, the rest of your family all the time. So I can see why this is first coming to just businesses with Azure Active Directory connected to their PCs. But this is how it looks like. And then the next thing is we got a bunch of fixes. It says we've addressed an issue, underlying issue where the last couple of fights for pen enabled devices was resulting in search getting into a state where it wasn't possible to launch apps from the results. It says they also fixed a uh, settings uh, fix where there was an issue where typing certain phrases into the search box and settings uh, were crashing settings sometimes. There's a whole lot here that says also widgets, uh, one using the family widget, which is what I was talking about. You should no longer ex unexpectedly see a message saying connect a device to see screen time activity, despite there being activity to display. So that was just a bug. Um, and then they have chat from Microsoft Teams. We fixed an issue where sometimes video would freeze and display a black image during video calls. And also an issue where if you switch between calls, the previous call is not automatically put on hold like every other cell phone out there at this point. Uh, personally, I have still yet to ever use this chat for Microsoft Teams feature at all since I'm just a team of one and uh, the phone, the cell dialing out or texting somebody via this chat thing with their phone number is not out yet and I would love to try it, but I still have no reason to really use this uh, program here. There's a whole lot of uh, known issues that they're bringing up. You can go through that pretty much. There's uh, quite a bit. You see how long this blog post actually is, Windows sandbox things. But we're going to get to the juicy part right here. This new Microsoft Store library UI. They updated the store to version 22,108.1401.9.0. Point. And basically what this is, is just a visual overhaul of the library UI with simpler navigation and better performance. 
Um, also, update a spotlight, which I'll show you in a second. You can hover to sneak peek on what's inside. One thing I gotta tell Microsoft, this is, this is criticism uh, that they could easily fix. I don't know how they could fix it, but I'm sure they could fix it. I've seen it on other blogs. Uh, when you're showing us, uh, when you're showing us these overhauls of certain things, not just on Windows, but a bunch of other things, apps in general, I kind of wish that you would include a little slider so you can slide and see before and after. That would just let me easily be able to, in case my computer doesn't get that app update or whatever it is, like I still haven't gotten the calendar and mail, let me be able to drag on your blog, like drag the image, you know, the little slider in the middle to see before and after so I can just compare right away. Um, so this is the Microsoft Store, the front page right there, that changed. And then there's some developer stuff as usual. So first thing what we're gonna do is minimize this and we're gonna go straight into the Microsoft Store. So the first thing is this is the new library right here. And as you can see, I was testing out to see uh, just what's going on here. Um, I can tell there are some changes here. It's not very heavy changes, but there are some changes here. Um, things look much more smooth and clean looking and remember, I am not using my overkill computer, my behemoth 2.0 computer. I am using a Razer laptop um, that doesn't have nearly the high specs. And things are still pretty smooth, even though things are still pretty laggy. But let's start with the home page, because this is what they highlighted first. Obviously, you got the big banner picture with the little highlights. You see when I move over Master Chief right there and move over Amazon Prime. Let's actually go back to Master Chief. You can see just it looks good. It looks good. And then also the hover over to see what's next. Let's wait till the Netflix part comes in. Okay, so you see this line at the bottom down here. You can see that it pauses when I hover over, so you know that when it's filling up, you know it's gonna jump to the next one. So I move away, it fills up, and it jumps to the next one. There we go, best productivity apps and so on like that. So that's that's definitely a pause, a, a, a plus, definitely. They're, I, I can tell that they're trying to make the Microsoft Store look really good leading up to the Android apps coming into Windows because when that time comes, you want things to look super good to attract more people to want to come to the store. And if you don't make the store look good, it didn't look bad before, but if you don't make the store look good, people aren't going to take you seriously. And you know I'm sure they know that being around for so long. But this looks pretty good, in my opinion, I gotta say. Yeah, see, the, the highlights are nice and good. This is not new at all, obviously. The main thing they wanted to talk about was this area here, the banner image or the banner slider, as well as the library. The library changed up. You can see that now, how it looks like. I'll try to put a before and after of how the library looked before to how it looks now, because my brain can't wrap around uh, how it looked before because I didn't pay that close attention before. It's been a while since I've had to touch the screen here. But you can see just it looks good. Uh, whether you go to your apps that you own, whether you go to the games that you've ever bought on the Microsoft account that you use. I've bought Mortal Kombat 11 and stuff. The movies, you know, whether you've just looked at included with device, which I, my device didn't come with anything and all the stuff. Everything just looks good. Um, I gotta say, good job, Microsoft. Obviously, there's still some fixes you can do. I gotta say, the one thing I got, there's two things I gotta close this video out with. One uh, being, I have a suggestion, Microsoft. So in the taskbar, when we open up the taskbar, one, I want the taskbar to be able to just right click anywhere so I can open up the taskbar, but the taskbar, or the task manager, sorry. When I look at the task manager and I have all of these processes and apps open and all of this stuff here, as a person about to jump into the IT field, switch field into the IT field, one thing I would love to be able to do is instead of having to scroll through and look for which task I'm looking for, if you could include some kind of search function, you know, so that I can search the task manager of, of open apps, uh, background processes, Windows uh, tools and things like that, Windows processes. If you could add a search function, that would be pretty dope. Uh, there's not really anything else that I really care about for the task manager at the moment, but that's, that was one of my things. Um, and then two, uh, they're fixing search in the store, and that's, that's definitely good. But the quality of life, when I search 
in the store and i hope this is truly going to be fixed so things do show up and i know they said it in their blog post please make sure that thing works very well because sometimes when you type in certain things you cannot find it at all and it's just been the annoying thing of me having to look for apps to review and things that i want to look at to potentially you know try out I end up not being able to find some developers apps and then I have to ask them on Discord for the link to their app because I can't find it or I have to search them on Google to find it. So definitely continue trying to push fixing that because the whole uh, the whole visibility of your apps and when you're trying to push the Microsoft Store as something that you want people to take seriously, search is key because if search doesn't look good or if search doesn't work well, no one's going to want to use it because they'll just give up after the first try. I know how people work. Uh, so I'm sure you know that that's just the thing. So other than that, uh, for you guys watching the video, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below with this build. I think it's build 168, 22,168. Um, and I'm curious if we're going to even get a 2022 20, or 23,000 or whatever. Let me know what you guys think about this current build. How do you like it? What do you not like about it? Have you run into some issues that seemingly nobody else has? Just vomit all of that in the comment section below, even if I don't actually like heart it or favorite it or, you know, respond. I look at all of the feedback just to see where people are at because not everybody will see, will get the same issues that I get or, you know, another person gets. So it's nice to have it there. And I know a few Microsoft people do t t keep tabs on this channel. So they do definitely they do definitely look at the comments as well and obviously the feedback hub as well so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below it's late here i gotta go to bed it's 12 midnight here in france good night everybody who are in this side of the world and i'll see you guys maybe later this week or as usual on tuesday